Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my second installment in the Sunday DIY series where I show you do-it-yourself techniques for hair, skin, body, um, style, and food. So those are the kind of things I want to share in this DIY series. I hope that you guys find it useful. If there are things you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. Please comment, guys, because this lets me know what you guys want to see, what you're interested in, and then I can figure out how I can make this stuff happen. All right, so I hope you guys appreciate um, this series. I hope it is helpful to you, and um, I cannot wait to show you how I created this style in less than 10 minutes. Yes, y'all, 10 minutes. All right, so Okay, so right now my hair is in a wash and go state. This is an old wash and go. And um, just to give you a little background information, I did my normal sort of wash and go process, um, except for the only product I used was a leave-in conditioner. And those of you who watch the channel and have been here for a while know, yes, I used my boo. I love it. This is the Lucens um, Moisture Balancing Conditioner. I love this product. It is just for me a godsend and so if you're looking for a product that is a great year-round product if you're looking for a good holy grail or old reliable that works on a variety of um, hair textures I highly recommend this product so that's all I did to my hair so I don't have any stylers or anything else in my hair just that so what I'm gonna do is just start out by misting my hair so misting the hair and now I'm going to use this product by Splat. If you guys have been um, watching the channel for a while, you know that I used this product um, recently on a twist out. Well, not recently. I think I did it like last year and recorded it for you guys or the year before. Um, so I'm going to use the same product. A little bit goes a long way. Like I've used this probably two or three times. And as you can see, I haven't even hit pan yet. Although I am kind of getting there in the center, you can see the indentation of, uh, of the pan, but I haven't even reached pan yet, so that's really, really good. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of section the hair so I can focus on one section at a time in terms of adding the um, highlights. You know, I will link, create a link to this product. Um, uh, so that if you're interested you can also you know find it and pick it up for yourself but apparent uh, but essentially you have the splat um, disc and then you have this thumb piece and what you do is you kind of hold them together like this it's almost like a uh, flat iron in that you have the bottom part and then you have the top part and then the hair is going you're going to run the hair in between these two but um so i've already applied color to this strand as you can see the blonde is on the end and i'm just going to pick another section just to kind of show you again what i did so i just pick a small section of clumped curls and i focus on the last inch to inch and a half two inches of hair and then i lay the hair on the little thumb mitten <laughs> um, and then I just press the thumb mitten into the um, the pod and I just drag it through and once you've done that you will have color deposited to the hair here it's easier I guess to see it against the black there you go okay so I like to focus on just the ends and the reason being that I just think it looks you know cuter that way uh, when I did this technique on my I'm just gonna keep doing it so you guys can see it you know as I do it but um, when I did this technique on my twist out um, as you'll see in that video again the link will be above I guess if you click on that eye it'll have a, a list of, of videos and that'll be one of the ones you'll see there um, but as you'll see in that video, I really went closer to the root um, all the way to the ends or maybe about an inch out from the roots to the ends of the hair. So you have the flexibility to kind of place the, um, the product 
you know as close to your roots as you want or as far away I'm just focusing on the ends if you feel like um, a section has clumped together and it doesn't look really good all you have to do is just kind of smooth your finger to get it to kind of absorb into the hair better so then it actually you know it looks more natural if you want more um, intense color just go over it a couple of times see how that brought the color level up really high so I don't want these highlights to be super bright so I'm just going over each section like just a couple of times all right if you feel like the um, the mitt is causing the thumb mitt is causing you to have uh, a little bit more frizz than you would like then all you have to do is just take it off and you can use your thumb this the the powder from the splat is not gonna dye your finger you can easily just sort of wash it to remove it okay all right and I'm just gonna continue this process I'm glad I'm doing this real time so you guys can see actually how quickly you can do this process like you could just spend about 10 minutes doing this on you know a given day where you decide you know you want to have some highlights in your hair I always like to make sure that I have some kind of around the face so it frames the face really nicely Now I may speed this part up just a little bit because I don't know how interested you guys are in seeing me do this, but I don't know. Some people like to see all the details and some of you guys don't and then some of y'all comment like, I didn't need to see all that. And then I'll get somebody else, you know, I'll adjust, make an adjustment and I'll get somebody else that says, I need to see all the details. So y'all just trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding so I try do try to mix it up so sometimes I show you guys the technique it's you know in real time um, in slower motion or, or regular motion just because I know some of you guys are looking for that so that's why you're getting that this time all right so y'all who don't like it think about the other people who would like it or do like this try to please everybody all right so this is what we're working with so far I like it I like it I like it I like it all right and kind of think about how you want to style your hair also I don't usually pull my hair out to the front. You guys know I usually pull it to one side or another, but I think what I'm gonna do is go for a look that is a little bit more toward the face this time. The thing, one of the things I really like about this product um, and why I like this opposed to, like some people will use the um, sprays and stuff like that. I find the sprays guys to just be super drying like even if you're not doing it that often it just still seems like you know you have to go back in and kind of you know repair the hair after doing the technique and I just try to stay away from processes that require me to do that because I feel like it's putting my hair through trauma that it doesn't really need you know to go through you know what I'm saying it's like with kids you know you <laughs> you know, those of you who are raising kids know you try to um, avoid them developing bad habits so you don't have to go back and unteach stuff well I have the same sort of mentality when it comes to doing the hair you know I don't want to expose it to anything that's going to be really drying that then I have to go back and then repair the hair from you know why put my hair through that why put myself through that so yeah that's my thinking 
Um, and so, yeah, I just find that the sprays have lots of alcohol in them and it's just super drying to the hair and I just don't like that. You know, okay guys, sorry. To eat. The camera died again. It, it's not dying, it's overheating. I haven't figured out why it is. I think it's because I'm transmitting the image you're seeing now to my phone and that may be sending it into overload. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go in and just create a few highlights to kind of frame my face here. Now again, remember, you can be like as intense with these as you like. I'm just more of a, y'all know I'm old, so I'm just more of a subtle girl. But um, another reason I really like this is because, you know, I actually have done highlights uh, on my hair a number of times, like before I went natural, and um, I had horrible, like it looked beautiful, but I just had such bad breakage, I just feel like I will never chemically highlight my hair as a natural because um, our hair is fragile, um, you know, our, our fine haired sisters out there, you know, our hair is a little more fragile because the diameter of the strand is uh, smaller. And so I just feel like, again, why put additional stress on the hair that you don't have to? Why break it down um, with those you know, uh, bleaching products and, and that sort of thing, especially when you can do something like this that, you know, essentially takes about, what, 10 minutes to do um, and yields really, really beautiful results. I think I'm going to go a little closer to the roots up here. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, you guys can do what you want you know, place the highlights wherever you would like them, but this is what I'm doing. <laughs> you all know I'm silly. I think I want a little more up in here. So right here, I think I'm going to go closer to the roots because of course this is framing my face. So yeah, I'm going to go a little deeper in when it comes to this section. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So yeah, that's the end result. And this is how much product I have left this time. All right, so I have probably another use out of it to do a full head of highlights if I want it. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna turn around really quickly so you can kind of see the back. Now, I don't know what the back looked like because I haven't looked at it in a mirror. I just randomly placed the highlights. But yeah, so this is what we have. And I'll lean in a little bit so you can see the hair a little closer up. I really like this, guys. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So that's today's DIY. Um, you know, how to create highlights in your hair at home without using chemicals, without bleaching the hair, without breaking it down or doing damage in any way. Now, the last step is if you want it what I have found with this product, um, it lasts up to three days just on its own. But if you want it to have a little bit more staying power, you can use um, a, um, a hairspray just to kind of seal it in. Um, frizzies during the summer is a really, really good one because it's going to block humidity. So it will keep your hair from losing definition. This product I uh, highly recommend again for curly hair or for straight hair. I'll put a link to it. Um, just so you guys can read up on it and decide if you'd like to uh, work with it. But even if you're in the rain, this works, all right? So yeah, so those are the results. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, and share this video with those who you think would benefit, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.